In this video, we'll be looking into designing a NFA from the given regular expression and obtaining its converted form into DFA using the lazy evaluation method. So firstly, let's write the regular expression which is being given in the question that is A plus B star into AB plus BA. So this is the regular, the regular expression given. Our first step would be to draw the transition diagram for above regular expression. So let's draw the transition diagram. So A, B. So fine. So if there are A, B, it will be there. It will have. So let's take it started from Q naught. Once it has to give Q1 on A and the other time it has to give a different number. So Q1 on A. A, B. Okay, A, B star means self loop. Then A, B. So A, B is taken on the first instance. On the second instance, A, B self loop. B, A is there. So on B, it will give Q3. And here on A, it will give Q4. So we have obtained the regular expression. Our next step would be to draw the transition table for the NFA obtained. So step two would be the transition table for above NFA obtained. So NFA A and B here, Q0 being the start state and Q1, Q2, Q2 being the final state of one instance and Q3 and Q4 being the final state of another instance. So let's fill the table. Q0 on A gives Q0, Q1, Q0 on A gives Q0 and Q1. Q0 on B gives Q0 and Q3. Q1 on A, we don't know. Q2, Q1 on B gives Q2. Q2 on A, we don't know. Q2 on B, we don't know. Q3 on A gives Q4. And Q3 on B is unknown. Q4 on A is unknown. Q4 on B is also unknown. So our next step is... Step 3 would be to draw the transition table for DFA using lazy evaluation method. So let's draw the transition table for DFA now. So here let's write transition of DFA A here and B here. So in lazy evaluation method firstly we need to write down the initial state as it is in square brackets and now we can start solving it. So Q0, Q1 let's write it here as we need to define Q0, Q1 state. Q0, Q1 on A. Q0, Q1 on A gives Q0, Q1 into union nil. So it will be Q0, Q1 itself and Q0, Q1 on B gives Q0, Q2, Q3. So we have defined Q0, Q1 state. Let's define Q0, Q3 state now. So it will be Q0, Q3 would be Q0, Q1 and Q4 and Q0, Q3 on B would be Q0 and Q3. So Q0, Q3 is defined. Now let's define Q0, Q1 which is earlier defined. So put a tick mark here. Q0, Q2, Q3 is not defined. So let's write Q0, Q2 and Q3 here. So Q0, Q2 and Q3 on A gives Q0, Q0, Q1 and Q4. Q0, Q1 and Q4. And on this side we get Q0, Q3 only. So this is defined. Q0, Q1, Q4 is defined? No. Let's write it here. Q0, Q1 and Q4. So Q0, Q1 and Q4 gives Q0 and Q1. Q0, Q1 and Q4 on V gives Q0, Q2 and Q3. So Q0, Q1, Q4 is defined. Q0, Q3 is defined. Q0, Q1, Q4 is defined. This is defined. Q0, Q1 is defined here. And Q0, Q2, Q3 is also defined. So our next step would be to draw the transition diagram for this or renaming it for simply uh, like sim our simplification. So let's rename it. Renaming the obtained transition table for DFA in step 3. So let's rename it. 
A DFA on this side we have A and B here so let's take this as A B C D and E so A B C D and E here we haven't marked the start state and end state so start state being Q0 wherever there's Q2 put a star mark and wherever there's Q4 put a star mark okay so now let's move on to the renaming part so here it's B C B D E C E C and B D so now that we have obtained the simplified uh, transition table uh, let's draw the transition diagram for this so our step 4 would be drawing the transition diagram for renamed DFA that is E would be the start state followed by B then we have C then we have D and finally we have E so let's start from A A on A gives A on A gives B A on B gives C B on A gives B itself B on B gives D C on A gives E C on B gives C itself D on A gives E D on B gives C E on A gives B and E on B gives D so here we have defined the transition diagram for uh, the renamed DFA our next step would be to uh, obtain the MDFA values M define the DFA that is Q sigma transition function Q0 and F so here Q would be 2 power Q sigma would be A and B transition function is defined Q0 being the start state that is A and F being the final or accepting state that is CE so I hope you have understood how to solve this question if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you